All right, everybody, we are here to do my husband's budget. It's his December budget, and I'm actually filming this in December. So that is a huge feat. So we're gonna be doing his monthly budget along with his cash stuffing, so make sure you stay tuned. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. All right, everybody, let's get this budget done. My husband does not dictate exactly where the money comes from that he budgets. However, he is using $4,543 this month to pay his bills. This has not changed that much, you guys. How many of you guys like watching the budgeting videos? Let me know down below because if people are not interested in seeing the budget videos, I get it because they don't change that much. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just writing in his bills. And just so you guys know, I do have budget sheets available right now that um, have not just a roundup column if you don't want it, but a plus minus column. So if you don't want to do a roundup, you can use that as well. So we have got Stash, which, which is investment. Kindle, you guys know what Kindle is. Union is a Wyoming company. This is our internet. And of course, as always, we are rounding up because this will be going into our Australia fund. So let's take a look and write in all of our bills and my dogs are outside barking because that is just what they do. Just bark, bark, bark. I hope you guys had an amazing holiday. We had a fun filled Christmas. We actually celebrated early and of course I did vlogmas on my other channel. So I was super busy with that until the day after Christmas. So anybody that does a vlogmas of any sort, I applaud you. But yeah, vlogmas is definitely a huge endeavor. So like I said, I applaud anybody that takes that task on. It's a lot of content for the creator to create and it's a lot of content for everybody to watch. All right, we're almost done with the bills. And we are going to add these up just to make sure because when I did this rough draft, I did it fairly quickly. And it's like, I feel like my handwriting right now is not amazing so either. So let's take a look. So 10 plus five plus 115, 65, 1600. And Mr. Cassio is still hanging on strong for anybody that wants to know. I love all of your guys' fancy calculators, but I just can't bring myself to spend money on a fancy calculator when my calculator is still good. And of course, Mr. Cassio, he's an OG. He is back from many, many years ago. And so our roundup for this section going to Australia is $9.82. And so that means over here, this was $25.80 and 18 cents. Perfect. So let's go ahead and subtract this out and see what we've got. $1,953. We're going to go ahead and bump down to the next section. And the next section is envelopes and digital. Now my husband does not actually carry cash with him. He is a digital budgeter. And of course we both have our own budgets just in case you guys didn't know that if you're new here. But there are two categories that will be cash, and this is right here. This is home, miscellaneous, and fun. These go in my wallet. Then he takes his spending money and transfers it into another account that he likes to use. I believe that's with Stash as well, and he earns free stuff or something like that. So spending money, $200 or $400 taxes. He is self-employed and owns his own business, so I always put a little bit extra away for taxes. So this column, as always, is $700. So this equals $1,253 left over. I almost put 12.53, and uh, that would not be good. So let's go up to our seeking funds. So we have $1,253 to work with for our sinking funds, our extra debt, and our extra savings. And if you've been here before, you know we have several sinking funds. And I just actually counted my sinking funds. 
and did a bill exchange that was kind of rough. I'm not sure if you're going to see that one before or after this one. But oh my gosh, you guys, I always make so many mistakes when I do those videos. And of course, you guys know I am here keeping it real with you every single day. But that video, I was definitely on the struggle bus. So if you watch it, just beware. It is far from perfect. And my handwriting today is far from perfect as well. I have to go to the bank still to get the money for this. So I kind of want to get this done quickly so that we can head to the bank. So auto insurance, auto insurance went up. This is what happens when you have a teenage driver. So 306 a month is what we're going to be putting in towards that now. So we're going to round up $4 for that one. Then for his vroom vroom and his guy things and stuff, he's going to put in 50. No roundup there. He's going to start his giving fund for next year. So he's going to throw in a 20. Holidays is going to get $50. Subscriptions, we're going to go ahead and do $17. I need to figure this out. Might be changing it. Garbage is going to get $40 this month. Sam's Club is going to get $100 as it always does. Land tax is going to get $34. And we're going to go ahead and round this one up $6. And then pets is going to get $100. And my hubby is putting in towards the 100 envelopes to help me get this done because this is kicking my butt, you guys. So $100 in towards that. And I just added these up and I know it's correct. So we've got $13 in our roundup. And then we have $880 going into sinking funds. And let's double check our total here. So minus 700, minus 880. So that leaves us with $373. We do zero-based budgets here on my channel, and that means every single dollar has a job. So we are trying to get my husband's Bank of America credit card paid off. This is his last credit card. But since he had to get the truck for work, it's limited how much extra he can pay. But every penny adds up. He's going to do an extra $100. And over here, $155. That is actually almost three times what the minimum payment is. So he is already paying extra on a regular basis, but we're trying to get that paid off for him. So that's going to leave us $273. Then I am so excited, you guys. We are finishing the piggy penny. And for his three piggies, he needs $31 for that. And then he is trying to get his emergency fund built back up. We did take out $1,000 each out of our emergency savings to buy an I-bond earlier this year. And so we're trying to get them built back up. They certainly aren't where they need to be, but that is what we decided to do. And then for his rollover, we have $142 that is going to roll over just in case something comes through the account. So this equals $273. So that is a zero base budget. And let me write down for myself as well, the roundup total, which is $22.82. Now I'm going to run to the bank and then I will be back to film the cash stuffing. Let's go ahead and get our cash stuffed. First, we're going to go ahead and start with our penny piggy challenge. I am so excited because we are stuffing our last three piggies for the year and this means that you are going to be seeing me count the piggy to see how much money we have. Now this money is going to Australia. We will have at least $667.95 going towards Australia, but I actually threw in some extra money here and there. I'm hoping I threw in enough to have at least $700, but I don't know you guys because I really wasn't keeping track. So we've got our piggy container here that is full. And of course, this is available on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. There are all kinds of variations. And it was funny because I was going to create one for other countries, but I have a blank one. So you can write in any amounts that you want that works for you. So we've got three piggies right here to do. We're going to go ahead and start out with 705. So we've got 5, 6, 7, 0, 5. And then we've got 1654. So 10, 15, 16. And I got some dimes here. That's what I had available. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 4. And then our last one is $8.12. And 
And this means that my hubby and I have completed the Piggy Penny Challenge this year together. I am so excited. And like I said, this money is going to Australia. So let me go ahead and color these in. And I am going to have a counting video if you like that type of video. Of course, I'm sure it will be longer because you guys, I put exact change in for every single pig. So I imagine it is going to be one heck of a video. You're going to want to make sure that you have got a snack and a beverage of your choice to watch that video. And hopefully I do better um, than I did in my last cash exchange, right? Man, sometimes I have a hard time. Numbers can be so hard. So we're going to color in these three piggies. It is so exciting to finish challenges and say that you are done. And this pencil is weird. It's like breaking. So it's strange. Oh, well, we got it. We got it. One more piggy to go. And our challenge is completed. And just like that, let's blow off all that weird dust from the colored pencil. The Piggy Penny Challenge for 2022 is in the books. And remember to tune in to see how much is in here. All right, let me put the piggy away. Let's go ahead and get stuffing for the other categories. We're going to go ahead and start out with my dividers in my wallet. And so we are going to stuff the home category and the miscellaneous and fun. And they are both empty in my wallet. So let me move that off to the side. It is a $50 bill for each of these, so that is super easy. $50 for fun and $50 for home. We'll set those aside. And then I will mark off what I've done. Then we're gonna go ahead and get into the adulting binder. And we are gonna stuff auto insurance. Now you guys, auto insurance has went up because we added Peyton's truck. So excited about that. But of course it kind of stinks because you know, you have to pay more money. <laughs> so we've got 100, 200, 300, and $6 going into auto insurance now. But that's what happens when you have a teenage boy on your auto policy and it just is what it is and he will be headed to college. So one thing I've told my kids as we've talked about previously is that if they're in school, then I will pay their auto insurance. So let's see how much do we have in auto insurance now? 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 76, 77, and 78. So we are getting there. I do love doing the six month premium and having the money. And of course we just did a cash exchange before we did the stuffing. Probably should have done it a different way, but hey, shoulda, woulda, and couldas. And let's see what else is in here. I know we've got some other stuff. Land tax we need to find. There it is. Land tax, we're gonna go ahead and add $34 into this. And land tax went up as well, not a lot, but a little bit. So $34 going into here. Let's see how much we've got in here. We've got 120, 40, 50, 60, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So $166. And this is due again in May of this next year. So a land tax and Petsy's going to put $100 into, and that's easy peasy. So $100 into Pets. And then also Sam's Club, he's going to go ahead and put $100 into Sam's Club. And we're going to grab his binder. And let me write down the ones that I did. Sam's Club, Land Tax, and Pets are all done. Oh, and Piggy Penny is done. Woohoo! And so in his binder right here, he's got Vroom Vroom. We're going to go ahead and add $50 into this one. And so that gives him $100, $200, $250, $300. And the concept behind this was this was anything that has wheels and motor and engine and goes Vroom Vroom. And then he's got guy things and stuff, and this is for whatever the heck he wants, just a miscellaneous category. So 50, 100, $107 in that category. Emergency savings, we did that digitally. So uh, that has already been moved. 
And we've got holidays. Holidays is $50. So let's go ahead and grab a 50 and put it into here. So that gives them 50, 100, $104. And generally my husband uses this for Christmas. So this is him saving for next year's Christmas. Gifts is not getting anything this time. I don't know if I did that on purpose or if I forgot it, but hey, it's not getting anything. And then we have got giving, which is just getting a 20 this time. So $20 here and subscriptions, $17 is what he's putting in here. So 10, 15, 16, and 17. And then I need to refigure his subscriptions. I was talking to him about that because one thing that we don't have figured into his subscriptions is his Audible. And it comes out, I think, of like a credit card or something, and then he pays it every month, but we're gonna add that into it. So we've got 100, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And so he's got Amazon that's going to be due in January. So the good chunk of that will be gone. And then garbage, we're gonna go ahead and put $40 into here. So 20 and 40. So that will be $100 in garbage. And then we have got the 100 envelopes or the savings challenge binder. And we are going to go ahead and add in $100 into the sinking funds. And you guys, this thing is bursting at the seams to be stuffed. So the next video that I film is going to be a savings challenge video because look at all of that money. You guys, I didn't fill savings challenges at all in December. And I don't think I did any in November. If I did, maybe once and that was it. So uh, that is my hubby's budget and his cash stuffing. So uh, thank you for joining me today. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And until I do see you the next time, remember to keep on smiling. Bye everybody. And this is Spotify, but I wrote Spotify this month. So apparently it's Spotify because I am filming multiple, ve multiple vehicles, I almost said, multiple videos today. <laughs>